Where can I go? Like, Tinsia is the only place that's, like, close to here. It's like, yeah, 13k. Or, sorry. No, 13k is right. It's 13k to level up from a fight. So, it's gonna have to... I don't know, maybe we can grind a little bit. Because if the dudes respawn, then there's no reason why we can't. Do you mind doing shadow first? I mean, you're already here. It would make perfect sense for you to go and fight these really high-level enemies that are annoying. That you can't use, you know, super effective magic against because you don't have any light spells at this point. Just fight the stuff, forehead. Like it's getting to the point where it's like, fine, I'm just gonna have to over level and just overpower everything because the, the enemy design is far too annoying to deal with on a regular in a regular fight. And like I understand if like it's a super secret hard boss that you wanna do that shit. But like regular fights where it's like this annoying, like come on man. Good night. Whew. Alarm clock set. Okay, time to go to sleep. Kyo, how many alarm clocks do you need? If you want to borrow one, all you have to do is beg. No thanks, the morning light wakes me up just fine. Max, do you want to borrow one? Nah, I don't need it. First one up will wake me up, right? Like, I don't think I can buy drain charms anywhere. Or else I'd give everybody, you know, dark resist. Even then, casting dark matter and shit like that is still bad for the rest of us. Equip your Excalibur, and uh, you should be fine. I mean, I guess he just wanted me to run past everything, but Shadow is not going to be a pushover. I mean, he didn't explicitly say to run past everything. Like, oh, just collect the items and, you know, here, fight Shadow. He's gonna be really annoying, but hey. Might as well get it over with now. When you're under-leveled. Let me see, what level does he even say that he is? Everybody's level 40. What do you mean, not bad? 700 damage is more than 20% of some people's health. 700 damage is like almost half. Let me see, 2,000. Like, yeah, it's like almost half of fucking Merity's health. And you're like, oh, 700 damage isn't that bad. I mean, uh, compared to what, dude? You know, his regular base attacks deal 400 damage, that's like, oh, okay, that's like one-fourth. Like, what nonsense are you muttering that that's not that bad? It's not that bad, I mean... Could be worse, you could be dead. Yeah, I guess. Pain in my nuts isn't as bad as a pain in my ass, I guess. I guess you're right about that. You know, can't be <laughs> beggars can't be choosers. Compared to the people globally here. Let's do it. 
True, at least I have a couple of seconds before getting over this time. Okay, that's a knockdown. Just his regular base attack is a knockdown. Okay, no one's stopping Mega Death from casting this shit. Oh. I have to do everything. And it's like I'm trying to kill Mega Death, but it's not happening because these dudes can never get their damn casts off. Three hundred damage from these fucking regular dudes. Like, why is it so high? It's not like we have like tons and tons of HP. Like, we're level forty, and Meredy has two thousand. Like, that's nothing. Okay, someone needs to stop. Never mind. And I just jumped right back into it. Like, I should just leave these guys to their death and worry about myself. And it's like, I cannot kill him fast enough. It's like, I can do fine just by myself, but the minute that these idiots get in the way, they lose. And it's like, you know, I don't want them to lose experience, because if I'm just going to grind here then that's the whole point. See, what I need to do is find where the campsite is here and just grind there. Um, let me see, am I gonna fail again? Four times in a row? That's not always nice. Great. Love it. Why not? Cannot get a break. Maybe I should just let that dude free cats, and maybe it won't be so bad. And I should kill these guys, because I can kill them super easy. Maybe this is what the strategy was the whole time, is just to get rid of these guys, because I can get rid of them easily. And then have them be able to take down Super Death or whatever the fuck his name is. Maybe that's how it has to be. Farah, you finally want to get your head out of your ass, or are you going to still fail cooking all the time because you're a worthless crap monger? Hey, it only took you, you know, your fifth try. How wonderful, you know, used up all my ingredients with all your failures. Great. That's another thing, I kept forgetting to buy those. Alright, you guys worry about yourselves. Great. Someone put a pole of chocolate pudding in my underpants! Damn it, stay the fuck away. Why are you running up here? Like, stop moving. Is there a way that I can tell them to just stay the fuck back and stop worrying so much about trying to get next to me? Like, seriously, just stay back there and cast. That's all you have to do. You can't beat me. Like, I'll kill all the tough enemies. Just stay away from me. That's all you have to do. Why are you making this so hard? On yourselves by being worthless. You're worthless. Actually, what I should do is just be doing this. Is using not my items. You're worthless. All you have to do, baby, is just stay back there and cast. That's all you have to do. Stop walking up here. There's nothing you can do. Let's do it. 
Why did you turn? God damn, this controller sucks so much ass. Like, don't turn around, please. Don't turn around. Ooh. I love it. Like, I can kill these dragon twos by myself if they can focus down Mega Death. That's all they need to do is kill Mega Death. Let me uh, back away from that. I'm not about to be hit by that shit. Like these idiots. Let's fight Shadow. Getting hit by that spell really isn't that bad considering what was happening when you let those other guys, yeah. I guess that's what the strat is, is to just fucking say, okay, you guys worry about Mega Death, and if he keeps hitting you with spells, well, <laughs> that's your problem, it's not mine. Because, yeah, killing those skeleton dudes seems to be the strat. And just let Mega Death run rampant and kill people. Or, I don't know, like, Dark Matter hits decently hard. Like, that's the problem. <clears throat> But it's like, you know, at least we're alive. And he, you know, it takes him, you know, 1.5 seconds to cast it. Which is stupid. How fast enemies cast compared to me. Like, this game, like, it wasn't designed in a way that was, like, fair. Like, being able to instantly teleport when we have to walk through enemies is, like, cheap. It's cheap design. Yeah, but if my dudes actually get their attacks off, we can get shit done. <laughs> oh man, it actually worked out in my favor where the projectile followed Mega Death to the other side. Fucking Mega Death. And I don't mean the band, I mean this piece of shit right here. Like every 10 fights is a level here. Okay, I only lost a thousand HP. It's going, you know, a little better than it was. 42 HP! I mean, TP. Oh, sorry, I was a gate nurse, not heal. I was about to say, damn. Okay, so if, as long as I'm the only one taking, like, damage, we should be fine. Mm, okay, so. I guess we'll grind a bit until it gets to the point where it would take too long for us to level from these guys. Not a fan of a substitute from Pokemon, I take it? Well, I don't really PvP in Pokemon, and that's the only time I would ever use a substitute, like, moveset. For me, it's all about just overpowering my enemy or using the rock, paper, scissors system. You think that substitute breaks the game? You think it breaks the rules of engagement, I mean? Activity detected in sea cage. Like I don't I mean I think substitutes alright, but I mean there's a strategy that you build around it. Do I think it's cheap? Not really. But I mean you're at the other right, I mean I mean you could say it's cheap because if you're not if your team isn't designed to work against like a sub strategy, then yeah, it's gonna be kind of annoying to get around, so you can make arguments for both. I see what you are saying. I see what you're throwing down. Hot borsh. OK, 
Okay, so what can we do here? Borsh, I mean, I have these orange gels, so... And anytime I need to restock on supplies, I can just do that. I don't, but you'll be hard-pressed to take out any Vaporeon with a sub. Yeah, and if you weren't planning to, like, deal with a sub team, I can see why it's annoying. For sure. But with Team Preview, do you think that they're not already prepared for that, or... Sub was Protect and Surf, Deadly Combo. I'm sure it's not unbeatable, but if it catches you off guard, like, that's where the strength comes in, is that you don't know that's what it's gonna be. Like, what are the current win rates for that strategy? On any sort of ladder, or, like, Pokemon Showdown, or whatever. But then, like, that's also, like, a PvP thing. Like, I don't really play Pokemon PvE that way. I prefer just to kill shit quickly. There we go. Now it's starting to not be so annoying. You learned absolute? Well, who cares? I'd rather have stun guard. You learned absolute. Absolute. Okay, I only took 500 damage that time. Well, that's always nice. Well, back in the day when you used to play Vorporeon, was easily able to tank and kill a Starmie with Thunderbolt. Yeah, I don't know how it is nowadays. I never was never a Pokemon PvPer. I was more of a PvE dude in that game. The Porygon was still good. Like it still had good special. It's just I never was able to get one during regular play. Did my thrust ever go up? I'm gonna have to check that. And it's like, also, like, I think a lot of my frustration was coming from the fact is like, I just wasn't used to seeing these enemies. And now that I've learned a strategy to deal with them, it's like, less annoying. I don't know. Maybe I just needed to take a chill pill. Uh. Excuse me, sorry. In either case. Vaporeon is a top tier, at least it used to be. Yeah, I don't know what it is currently in Gen 8. I mean, Gen 8, like, there was shit... It was, like, different, but, like, in Gen 7, I don't know if Vaporeon was still top tier because they had all sorts of ways to break walls in the newer generations. Have not checked Smogone in a long-ass time. Man, I wish my 3DS didn't break out on me, like, crap out on me. I've been wanting to play through a Pokemon game at some point. I mean, I could do ROMs and emulators. I already paid Nintendo for their ROM of Pokemon Red and Silver and Crystal and Yellow. Man, it sure sucks whenever we're all able to gang up on you, doesn't it, you little piece of shit? Man, look at us getting, like, to level 42, and all of a sudden this shit is, like, not as bad as it was? What are the odds? It's amazing what a couple of levels will do for you. And the money that we're raking in. Umbreon's also top tier for the same reason, just a huge, unkillable wall. I think in Gen 7 with the advent, since we're using that word today, with the advent of Z-moves, Umbreon became much more killable. But like again, I don't know. 
Like, I never cared about Pokemon PvP. And all of my, like, limited knowledge is from, like, Gen 4. Because that was, like, the last generation I really loved. is up. Wonderful. Good grind. Good, good, good. Oh man, did it, maybe I got my, my thrust up too much. Um, that's done. Spiral attack. Demon twist, I guess. We'll use this some more. Demon lightning hammer. Very good, very good. I hate the mega evolution things. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of megas either. Especially since that was only for Gen 6. Like, they didn't carry it over to any other generation. Like, whatever. Like, when I say Gen 6, I also mean, like, you know, the remakes that included Gen 6 also had the Mega Stones and Junk. But like Gen 7 had Z-Moves, they took Z-Moves out, and now they have Dynamax, which is like a combination of both Mega Evolution and Z-Moves. It's like they're at the point where they can patch the game, and they should just make shitty Pokemon, like, good. Okay, fuck off, dude. Spamming your shit over and over. Turn around, damn it! Like, stop! Oh, there's my slash. Well, that was fast. Back to thrust attacks. 